<laughs> it's called Ass Bitch, the Dancing Cat. <laughs> and it stars Willem Dafoe as the titular hero of the piece, of the hour. Brendan Fraser is a lonely man. He works in Wendy's serving burgers to teenagers, and he is like 50. He has recently split up from his long-term girlfriend, who has dumped him for not being sensitive. So he decides to fill the void in his life, the lonely void in his life, by buying a cat. He goes to the pet store, and in the pet store, um, obviously, Mr. Miyagi is there, played by Danny DeVito, who says, Hey, I'm Mr. Miyagi, and I got a cat for ya! And Brendan Fraser says, how did you know I was a cat? And he tips it, like, points at his nose and goes, it's my little secret. But I'm Asian and wise. And that's not racist, because it's a positive trait. Ching Chong Chinaman. <laughs> you can't say that afterwards. You can't <laughs> declare your lack of racism and then say Ching Chong Chinaman. You no, can't. no, because that makes it okay. Because he already said He already it, said it's what? not racist. And that gives you license to say anything. It was a preemptive, not racist. Exactly. Mm. This isn't racist, Ching Chong Chinaman. I eat half of these cats. And and Brendan Fraser looks at the camera and says, just to confirm, this isn't racist. It's it's what we call satire. So anyway, um, Danny's <laughs> Tomino says, get this cat. It's poipal. And sure enough, there's a purple cat there. I don't know how dangerous it is to spray paint a cat purple. Very for the cat. I've done it. <laughs> so we can tell <laughs> studios we've already got the purple cat. It's okay. They just need to help us with the CGI. Because no sooner does Brendan Fraser get it home, does the cat go, Hey! Hey, you! And Brendan Fraser looks down and, well, what do you know? It's Willem Dafoe's face on the cat, on the purple cat. Willem Dafoe's purple cat face. A bit like the Cheshire Cat, but totally not the Cheshire Cat. Brendan Fraser says, who are you? Are you the Cheshire Cat? And Brendan Fraser, uh, no, Brendan, F fuck. Willem Dafoe <laughs> says, no, I'm not the Cheshire Cat. I'm ass bitch, the dancing cat. You silly poop dick. And Brendan Fraser says, what did you call me? He's like, I called you a poop dick. Get used to it, kid. Now I'm going to teach you about love. And, then, and your girlfriend will date you again. Because that's how it works. Now give me some cat food, poop dick. And Brendan Fraser goes and makes, um, gets some, like, cat food, like meow mix, and puts it in a bowl. And he goes, not that, stupid poop dick. Get me some sausages! Breakfast sausages! Ah! He hasn't even started dancing yet. He's very presumptuous. I'm, I'm that bitch that dancing cat! I want some goddamn sausages! Breakfast Has he been dancing and I just didn't no. catch that part? No, okay. It's just a normal cat that we filmed walking around and we've awkwardly photoshopped. <laughs> or like blue screened Willem Dafoe's face hovering in front of it. Just so that we know that the, the head is on the cat. And the dancing cat. These are some great sausages that I'm eating with a knife and fork. Um, I haven't been able to train the cat to eat with a knife and fork. I've just had to film the cat walking around near a knife and fork on the floor with some sausages. But I think the audience will go with it. I think the audience will go with it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, <laughs> the next door neighbour, the evil Weird Al Yankovic, played by Weird Al Yankovic, is holding, <laughs> yep, yeah, holding a glass up to the wall next, like, his next door through the partition wall. He's holding a glass, listening to everything, and he says, oh my god, I can't believe it! It's got a talking cat in there! That's gonna fetch me a fine price! At the talking animals auction tomorrow. So he goes and kidnaps, tries to kidnap the cat. So he knocks on the door of Brendan Fraser's house, and Brendan Fraser opens it, and uh, Wendell Ankerfix says, "Excuse me, I am a stranger who you don't know. 
can I come in? And Brendan Fraser says no. And he says, well, tough! And he sprays mace in Brendan Fraser's eyes and pushes him to the floor and runs in with a big net and says, I'm going to kidnap you, so-called ass bitch, the dancing cat. And Willem Dafoe says, I'm ass bitch, the dancing cat. And you have no head! <laughs> what? He does have a head. <laughs> and Weird Al Yankovic goes, what? But I do have a head! Oh! And then his head falls off. Whoa. And he falls down dead, blood everywhere. Oh my god. Brendan Fraser says, gets up and says, Oh my god, ass bitch the dancing cat, you've saved me. And Willem Dafoe says, I'm ass bitch the dancing cat. You best bury that body or you'll be wanted for murder. So Brendan Fraser buries the body in the backyard and no one ever speaks of it again and it doesn't come up at all in the rest of the film. Um, after that point, Brendan Fraser needs to go to the toilet and says, Oh my god, I need to shit. So he runs into the bathroom, the door's open, because there's just a cat in there, he doesn't care. And he starts screaming, Oh my god, I'm shitting penises, penises are coming out of my ass. Oh no. And Willem Dafoe walks Is he in. Really? Yeah, Willem Dafoe walks in and says, Hey kid, guess what? I'm ass bitch, the dancing cat. And I said you were a poop dick! And Brendan oh. Fraser shouts, Oh my god, you're right. There are so many penises coming out of my anus right now. And now I know the meaning of love. Love? I thought he was going to pick up on the fact that ass bitch is actually a magical cat. Causes trouble. Kind of like Leprechaun. No, he has taught him the meaning of love. Where? When? What? As you felt those penises slalom out of your ass. That's what love feels like. like it feels up. like millions of dicks coming out of your asshole. And it's <laughs> and it's good, but kinda scary. And also there is cum. And pre cum. Oh no. Why is there if that? It's up uh, Brendan Fraser's character. Oh get him, slugger. And then Brendan Fraser waddles out of the house. Trous is still out round his ankles. He waddles out and penises are just flopping out of his ass. And he runs to the airport and screams, uh, My girlfriend, my girlfriend, I understand now. He runs to the airport and just as Deborah Messing is about to get on the plane, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brendan Fraser still like just half naked and just penises falling out to a silly degree. He just shouts, girlfriend character, I understand the meaning of love now. I am shitting out penises. And Deborah Messing says, well, now you do understand. And now we are girlfriend and boyfriend again. And she tears up her airline ticket that cost her $800 and hugs him. And they are now in a relationship again. And then Deborah Messing just turns around, winks to another cat that's in the corner, an orange cat with Val Kilmer's face that yes. says, don't mention it. <laughs> and then the credits run. Ugh. <laughs> are there still penises? Just Are they, like, alive? Or are they just a, a dead, like, a corpse's penis coming out of a man's? Because they must be his genetic code. Yeah, they just flop out like uncooked salami. Ugh. That is gross. <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> uh, now I understand the meaning of love. No, you don't. It's, uh... <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was fun to imagine... Whenever you talk about something in the beginning of the show, I think about it later. And I was imagining Queen's I am a mortal! I have inside me blood of kings! As yeah. Brendan Fraser was running with the penises coming out of his uh, yep. back end. Yeah. While um, Willem Dafoe just it keeps cutting back to him while the Queen music is playing. It's really disjointed because the music stops when it's on Willem Dafoe and it just keeps cutting back to him as it sounds. And then cutting back to Brendan Fraser with I am a boy. I am a boy. And then it cuts to Willem Dafoe just says, The penises are cold! <laughs> the penises are cold! I am a boy. Really fucking cold! <laughs> That would be, uh, I'd watch it, yeah. My delicious crisp Coca-Cola. 
And you too may understand love. <laughs>